おめはおめはもう死んでる。Okay,、um, let's go. Oh no, it's this guy again. I mean, basically, you have to run your king to the side and pray that your opponent is like, is a chill. Let's go here. Okay, we're gonna have the same kind of thing. We'll play d5, e5, f5, pretty standard stuff. Probably I'm gonna take and go like, yeah, I'm gonna take and go c5 here. I think I'm gonna go c4 and maybe just like slowly bring this bishop into the game. I don't know if it works, but it seems kind of okay. I think bishop a4 is supposed to be an. Is bishop, no, bishop a4 is not even a move here. What am I smoking? I thought I could go here, but then he just checks me and he eats the juicer on e6 and I just resign. This is a French, basically.、Um, I'm just gonna move my king back. I don't know if this is right. I'm gonna go b5. I want to go queen a5 at some point. This is kind of like a French. I think I go a5, b4, maybe just open it up if I have time. I go h6, of course. I have to kick the horse. I'm going to play a5 and b4. I think this is my idea here. Go g4. Don't really want to take. I'm wondering if I can play like knight a6 and b4. Just b4 right away. Then I'm going to go. I'm going to just go here. My idea here was to play b4 and rip open this queen side, basically. Okay, I'll go here. I think I'll go like here to laterally hold and maybe knight e7 and king h7 if I have time. Okay, take. Don't think I'm that worried here. Oh, that's actually a good move. Hmm. That's actually a great move. I, I didn't realize how strong this idea was. Um, hmm. Guess I'll go here and like rook a2 or something. I, I don't know if this is good. Let's go.、Um, this is so awful. Yeah, he's got this, and I mean, this is just so disastrous for me. Ugh. Maybe I have queen. No, I don't have queen of short. Do I have bishop d7 maybe? There's no rook g7. I mean, this is so bad. I'll try it. I mean, I've, I've got to do something. I'm way down on the clock. Okay, go here. Hit the bishop. I'm very close to lost here, but I'm trying. If I go. Do I have 97 maybe? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, think. Just go here and here. Can also go queen sheet. Okay, what's that? I go here. This is queen sheet two. I mean, I guess I just pre move this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's, let's, let's play somebody else. It's unfortunate. This guy's a smurf, though. I do know that. He's, he's, he's legitimately good, but he's a total smurf. Let's go F3 and King here. Yeah. No, it's not Vita, but I mean, he's definitely a titled player. I, I don't know if he's like FM or IM, but he's 100% an FM or an IM on his main account. Just take. What is this? Okay, let's play E3 here. Go here on H4. 
I, I would beat him with a normal opening pretty consistently, but he's on his main account. I don't know what his main account is. He's probably about 2650, 2700 um, at Blitz. And the reason I say that is because, like, on this account that he's just on, he has, like, 20 games. He has no games. Uh, two additional losses and a draw? What? No, no, that might be from the previous speed run. Let's go here. No, he's definitely a smurf because on this account he has like 30 games. That's why I know it's not it's not his main account, because of course no one is no one gets that rating after 30 games. Um Smurf means it's not his main account. That's what Smurf means. Um Let's go here. Problem is it feels like nowadays you know what it feels like nowadays? It feels like um it feels like all these people have actually looked at the opening and it's like they're all like they're like trying to be wildly aggressive and attack instead of being passive. And this opening is an opening where if people are very aggressive, you get into a lot. It's very hard to play. You get into a lot of trouble very easily. I have one draw. No, we're, we're not counting that game. Actually, we're, we're just not counting because it, it wasn't a legit game. Okay, I can take the pawn. Yeah, it's just this, the thing is this one, unlike the previous one, is really hard. It is because it feels like everybody knows what to do against the stupid opening. So it's like it's very, very difficult. Hmm. Yeah, this is <sighs> this is rough. This is very rough, actually. Thank you to Nami2929 as well. Thank you so much, Nami. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the prime. Um, yeah, what it feels like, it feels like everybody knows how to play against this opening now. Well, when I did the previous one, I feel like... I Does somebody know what the actual score... Wait, what was the final score? I had 386 wins, I think. So I don't know how many games it took me to get there, but it just it feels like everybody has much better understanding of what they're doing. I should have moved my queen too. I'm trying not to get tilted, but I do feel a little bit. I do feel a touch tilted at the moment. Not gonna lie. Let's go here. Let's go here maybe, hit the knight. Knight of four. It's so bad. Yeah, it's like everybody knows what to do now. That's the problem. Everyone knows what to do. When I did the previous one, most people did not know what they were doing. I think I got to like 27, 27, 28 before I started losing. But yeah, everybody knows what to do now, which makes this really difficult. Really, really difficult. The meta has changed. Yeah, I, like I said, it feels like everybody they just they, they just come they just attack right away. Well, he blunders a knight. Funny thing is, this shows how bad this opening is. He blunders a knight, and it's still I think I'm winning, but it's not like it's not easy or clean at all. When did Chess.com ban me from castling? That's also a good one. <laughs> Uh, no, I was doing this version because if I try to do the, the traditional version, what happens is, is um, someone can ruin it immediately on move one. So when I play E4, they can just go knight F6 or they can play D5 and then it gets ruined. Um, one second. It's going to take... Okay, this should just be pretty easily winning, right? He doesn't have rook H8, does he? No, I go knight F1. Okay, now I go here and just knight H3 and I just calm it down and it should be winning. Thank you to Hera for the six months. Thank you so much to Hera. Let's go here. Um, Still very difficult to win this. I'm going to win this game because I'm up on the clock too, but all these positions, even when I'm up a piece, are very tricky and very hard to play. Let's go... So difficult. It's crazy. Let's go here. Okay, now I can at least trade into a forest winning on game. Let's go here and here. Let's go here and take. Let's 
go here. This, this one pawn should be enough. All right, let's keep going. That's another win. I think that's 27, but let me make sure. Okay, let's go here. I want to get to 2700 if I can before I lose another game. We'll see if I can actually do that or not, but that's what I want to do. Let's go here in E4, of course. I guess I'll take and go F4, maybe. Knight C3. Go H3, kick the bishop. If bishop F3, I just take, I assume. If bishop F5, I go G4. Is that good? I don't know. So I'm going to play knight C3 and hit the pawn on E4 instead. Let's go knight B5, hit the bishop. Okay, I'm going to trade queens. I'm going to mark this up as a win. Okay, I get to trade queens, so I'm going to win the game. Um... <clears throat> if I can trade queens, I'll win the game. That's all I need to do. <laughs> I think I go a3, knight c3 here, and I'm doing very well. Cocky? I mean, uh, if I can get to an endgame, I think I can beat most of these people. If I can't get to an endgame, then I'm almost certainly going to lose. <laughs> the, maybe not lose, but it's going to be a very big, big fight, big struggle. Uh, let's go here in rook d1. This actually isn't cleanly winning, by the way. I can go chief. I think I'll just play rook d1, maybe. I want to go g4 at some point, but I don't have a good continuation. Um, maybe knight b1 is a move. Whoa, what was server drop or something? Let's go knight b1. I want to go knight d2. I also want to hit this. Thought I could play g4, maybe. I can also just go knight c3 back. Actually, I kind of like this knight because now I get the better horse combination. Because now I'm able to rotate this horse and win the game, I think. Because now I have two knights. The difference is in this position, I can't I can't use this knight to attack the pawn. But I do I do a switcheroo, and now I now I just eat the juicer. Although he's rookie eight, which I completely forgot existed. Let's go back. Okay, now he blundered this one. He forgot that I could take, and now I just come back and I eat the juicer and I win the game. Let me make sure the score is right. Is what did he just play? Out of the corner of my eye, I saw it was something weird. I didn't actually see the move, but I was like, it's weird. Yeah, th this will be twenty-eight. Yeah, this will be twenty-eight. Okay, good. Yeah, like I was looking at my other monitor and out of the corner of my eye, I saw it was a weird move. I wasn't sure what the move was, but I knew it was some kind of weird move. Now, I still can't take weirdly, but I think I can just go... Wait, this is actually weird. Hmm, can I play G4? I should take him with a bishop. What am I... What am I doing? Insane. Why did I do that? Okay, now I have to take and go rook c1, and this is not clear at all. This is not clear or easy at all. Yeah, now I just gave him this. Two. What am I doing even? This is rook d3. Okay, I go here. I'll go here. Why did I do this? I was just winning the game and one one fell swoop, I just threw it away. Let's go here, I guess. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Am I actually just losing here? Let's go here. Wow. 
Wow, he blunders. That that went very wrong very quickly. That one, I'm I was very lucky that game. Very lucky, very lucky that game. I because I was winning and then I turned that from a win into a losing position. That was so bad. Let's go here. Can I change the theme? Not until we get to three thousand, you guys. Sorry, no can doosville. Try to. Let's go here. Let's go here. Hit the target of the juicer. Whoa! Thank you to Momo Jack for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Momo Jack. Appreciate it. Thank you to Pistol Pete 369 for the Prime as well. Thank you to Thin Krusty for the 300 bits. I think I'm doing well here, kind of. Uh, although it's a very strange position. I mean, I guess I go A4 Knight D2 here. I can also take, but I think I'm gonna go Knight D2. I gotta stop knight c4. c5 is a good move. I'm gonna go knight e2 here. So many people here, it's wild. Yeah, it's, it's been great to see the way chess has been popping off, you guys. Uh, it's all due to you guys, the fans, that make it, that make, that are making it happen. Let's play, um, I think I'll go C3, consolidate my central structure here. So, thank you to Little Inges for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it's all due to you guys. It's you guys. You guys at home, the fans who are watching. You make you make this all so exciting and so much fun. Let's play Rook B1. I think I'm going to go here and try to line them up somehow. Line up the Knights. I mean, I assumed I could take at some point. I think I'm just going to go G4 here. Okay, it goes there. Okay, I take and go here. Hit the pawn. I mean, this looks bad, but it's my king is still so ugly on f2 that it's not easy to prove. I should be better, but all these positions where I get a good position, objectively a good position, still have are they're still very fraught with risk. I could have also taken. I mean, all these positions like it looks really good. I normally I'd be like, oh, I'm up a pawn, I'm gonna win. But because it's the bond cloud, the king king situation is, is always a problem. Let's go here. Thank you to Umprince for the prime. Thank you to I forgot my old username for the 10 months. Thank you to Zero Ben for the two and Furrow for the six. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Very tricky. Very, very tricky. Um, can I actually just eat the juicer? I'm going to eat the juicer and eat this one. Don't know. I think I'm going to win now. But and that's, the pro that's the problem with this opening. Every game is like... Uh, Every game is really brutal. Even when I'm up a pawn or two pawns, there's always still a lot of danger because of where the king is. Pawn Creed wrote a very interesting comment, you guys. So Pawn Creed in the chat for the game said, I don't usually speak. Let me stop the clock for a second. Um, let me stop this. He wrote this comment. He said, Pawn Creed, my Pawn Creed, my opponent. He said, I don't usually speak, but I have to say I pity you. Bye. <laughs> Okay, dude. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's good. Some some good stuff, eh? Couldn't handle the cloud. Okay, I'm, I'm going to play the order. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. Can I play in a Can I play F5 in King F7 here? Like do a more better version? Let's do a better version. Let's try to do a better version. Yeah, he didn't know who I am. Okay, rem okay, I don't castle, don't castle. Just, yeah, now I remember to go king f7 and not castle. Yeah. Uh, did I update the score? Let's go here in king g8. Uh, let's go king g8 here. I mean, I feel like as long as I put the king on f7, it's kind of the same thing. Plus one, is that bad? Yeah. It's take and take, invalid run, blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm, I'm within my rights to find some additional ways to... Uh, castling in 2020, yeah, yeah. Castling should be banned in chess? Maybe, I mean, who knows. Oh, did I not mark the win? Maybe I didn't. Let me see. Where are we at? Let's let's see. Okay, let's go here. This is not a bond cloud. I put my king on F7. I feel like if I put my king on F7 or E7, then, I mean, pretty much no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to win this one too, so let's just mark it up. Can't they go C5 here, maybe? Or wait, C5's a move. Uh, it's not. Eh. Eh. 
Eh, eh, I don't know. Actually, it's weird. I allowed F4. That was kind of stupid of me. Like, very stupid. Mucho, mucho stupid of me. I think I'll still play C5, though. So if he takes, I, he plays on Peasant. I check the King and win the Juicer. I don't know if I'm happy with the position, though. I'm gonna go here. I don't like my position that much now, but I think it's still it's still okay, kind of. I mean, it's not great. This guy's playing well, though. He's finding some good moves here. Like, now it's not gonna be easy at all. Okay, I guess I'll... I guess I'll go... Here, maybe? This knight g5 is very annoying, actually. That's why I, I want to move the knight somewhere. But, like, I want to retreat the knight, but then he comes in and he starts hoppy hopping. So let's take... He's knight f4. I guess I just go... Um, bishop d7, queen g5. Try to just slowly build up the position. Did I just blunder knight e6? I did. Mm-hmm. I did. I thought I was just going to win this game easily. But he is 26... Oh, wait, no, this is a real... Actually, this is King Hari. I, I didn't even look at the account. This is actually a very legitimate player. I've played this guy before on my main account. He's very, very good. Um, I have to be very, very careful here. This is a real player, actually. This is a, this is a real player. This is legitimately a very strong guy. Who are all the other players? Oh, they're all good too. I just, I mean, I've played this guy on my main account, and he, he, he has, uh, he has given me, he has given me some, some problems from time to time. I'm trolling you guys. Relax, relax. I'm talking in a competitive atmosphere. Relax, you guys. Come on, stop, stop being weird. Eight. And she four. Don't really have better, so I'm just gonna do it. And hopefully I'm not blundering something obvious. I'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move. He, he won't do it, but it's it's a good pre-move anyway. Yeah, I go here. Guess I pre-move. That's a pre-move. Oh, he didn't take on e5. He was supposed to take on e5. He didn't take on e5. So now I feel like I have time. Maybe I just move my king. Time situation is fine, okay. Queen d2, bishop e4. Just move my king. Go here, try to trade some rooks. This is not easy, actually. I should be better, but this is not going to be easy, okay? Do I have rook f2? Maybe. I think I'm just going to go here and rook f1. Just go here. Because I have a check. Can you get away with that? Wait, I go rook f2? Again, I'm very skeptical that you can get away with all this stuff, but let's go here. He has no time either, which is going to play a big role here. Very stupid. Oh, and I just wondered this one too. He didn't see it. Oh, there we go. We got the checkmate. That was a tough game. He really fought hard once he was down some pawns um, to come back. All right, I got to run to the restroom, you guys. So I'll be right back. Uh, that won't change much, I don't think. Let's go here. Thank you to Gansey for the tier one. Thank you to Red, Red Baron for the prime. Thank you so much to my Sando one for the two months. Thank you to CG Alpha K for the two months as well. Let's go here. Do I have Le Munchies? No, I don't. Do I have Vivid Dreams? I sometimes do, but very rarely about chess, I will say. This actually looks pretty ridiculous what I'm playing, but maybe it'll work. Yeah, see the pro... Well, but maybe not, because I can actually go here, and he doesn't get what he wants. I don't know. This is weird. Now, I can take... I can... I think I'm just going to do this. I don't really... I don't really believe this somehow. He is, he is the tower of... the. The, the tower of power, but I'm going to remove the tower of power in a move. Just 
go here. Let's hit the bishop. If he goes here, I just go e5. I think I'm doing quite well, actually. Very weirdly. I think I'm doing well. It's an end game anyway, so I'm going to win, right? It's an end game. I'm going to win. Let's mark it as a win. I think end of thought for the, uh, for the prime. Thank you so much, end of thought. Thank you to Alexovich for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I think I can go d6 here to, to hold the juicer. And this should be just great. Whoa. Yeah, that was pretty ugly. Let's go here. Posture check? I'm not slouching that much, am I? Let's go D4. Thank you to 4 Everjam for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so we clogged the toilet on the king side, so we're very happy. The king side's kind of clogged here with all these pawns. So it's, it's very good. So I'll go here and just take some Bishop through maybe. Let's go here. I want to stop the horse from jumping. Did I see Dubov's game of the year? No, I didn't see it. Um... Yeah, possibly. That would be interesting, yeah. <laughs> Let's go queen d2. Probably I go rook g1 at some point. Uh, I think I'm going to go... I'm actually just going to go for it with rook g1 and g4 here at some point. So he's presuming that I can't actually do anything. And maybe he's right. Maybe I can't. So I'm just going to start to pawn march on the queen side now. That's a mistake, because now I hit the pawn, and he's going to have to deal with the fork. So I'm going to win this game, too. Let's mark it up. Or wait, is it? <laughs> um, It probably is, but <laughs> it probably is winning, but actually, I didn't see that he could... Uh, whatever, let's just take. <laughs> that was kind of a mistake to mark it as a win. I mean, I'm still better, but it's nowhere near... I thought it was winning, and it's not... I mean, it's just better. It's not winning at all. Let's go rook here. Let's go here. I think I just trade. Let's take with a knight. And now I guess I go... Actually, maybe I go knight c1. Actually, I'm going to go knight b6. I'm knight d7. I just trade and take the juicer. I can take and play h4, create an outside juicer, but it's probably not good. I think I'm just going to go here in knight a4. I think now I can hop, maybe. I think I try to try to hop with the knight into d6 now. And he has no entries still. There are no entries on the squares, which is very important here. Every square is covered on the diagonal. Thank you to Yvonne Garcia J for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to Nilly Willy for the seven months. Thank you to V Cutter for the three dollars. Thank you so much, man. Um, I can play Queen B two. No, actually, I should just I should just cut the uh, diagonal here. I should have gone Knight B two first. Goes there. So I go here. I want to go in. He could have maybe gone Queen D three. Takes a Knight E four. He misses now. Now he just forced the queens off the board, and he loses because these pawns are too weak. He goes to h5. He's trying to get h4 in here. It's logical. Um, I think I take, though. He has to go back. Okay, so he still has h4 threats to soften the pressure. Take. I don't like it. Um, just go here. I'm going to go an 82 next move. Actually, I think I'll take. I'll take, I'll take. Actually, I'll go an 82. 
So why did I do this? I'm just gonna go A4 here. Okay, let's go here, maybe hold the pawn. I can check and go around the back, maybe that might work. Yeah, I think it does work actually, so I'm gonna check. Thank you to Kornberg for the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to El Elysium for the Prime. This is actually not trivial, but I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning here. Let's see. King E2. This is tricky, though. Okay, let's go A5. A6, E2, A7. His knight doesn't have any squares, I don't think, to get to the checking points from. E2, A6, King E3, A7, I still queen in time. I win the game. And now the pawn, I just go A7. Now I go here, and now I just win the game, because I can lever him with the other pawn. Oh, let's go here. He goes that way, now I distract him, and I just, uh, I just take. If he takes, I make a queen. Let's go here and here. Keep going. Okay, let's play E3 again. Let's play F3 here. I said I wanted to get to 2700 before another loss. We're actually trying to push it, push hard now. Let's play H4. The upcoming chess tournament air things is going to be, I believe, uh, let's go D3. I believe it's it's rapid. It's 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 definitely rapid. Yeah, big shout out to all the people who are watching again. 21,000, you guys. Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying the show. Let's go King G2 and Rook H3 and 92. This guy is a con. No, it says he's a cow. It doesn't say he's a con. Okay, let's play um, E4 here. I want to build a center. Maybe C3, D4 here. Um, actually, why did I do this? This was pretty stupid of me. Very stupid of me. Because now he gets knight G4. I mean, I'm still okay, but it's not great. Uh, I have to be very careful here, though. Like, I think I go queen e2. If knight f2, I go rook h2. If knight d4, I just take. I have to be really, really careful with how I play this. The good news is there's bishop g5 at some moment. Also, I have c3, d4, c3, b4. It's dicey, though. Very dicey. Okay, so... He's trying to go over a checkmate? Oh my gosh, this is so dangerous. This is crazy dangerous. I'm lucky that I hold everything here, but very close. Thank you, thank you to the showstopper for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I think I'm kind of okay. I need like one move. I need one more move and I'm, I'm good. I don't know if I'm going to get one more move though. That's the problem. I think rook d1 and c3 is my idea. Rook d1, c3, and d4 should be my idea. Okay, but he, he plays that... I think I get my one move with c3, because when he goes here, here, I go d4, he takes my horse, he takes my rook, and I take the bishop. And I think I'm okay there. Or rook, rook d8 at the end? Maybe not. Thought I could go here and here. Rook d8. d8, bishop d2. d2, d4, knight b3, rook d1, bishop f4. That might work, but I don't know if it works, so I think I'm just going to be safe here and just play an endgame instead. Oh, we can also just take. Yuck. Wait, but I have this and this, maybe? Let's go here. I got a little bit lucky. Now I'm back in the game. We're back in the game. We're in it to win it, and it's an endgame, so I'm going to mark it as a win.
No guarantee that I'll win this, by the way, but I just, I assume that I will. Wait, why did I do that? That was so stupid of me. Okay, I think I'm okay here. I just think, I think I have to just be very precise. Let's go knight c4 to hit the bishop. You can't go here because my rook holds. If he trades, I just trade. It's a safe premium, so I'll take it. Thank you, TSM Bjergsen, for the tier one. Thank you to Bjergsen. Thank you for the sub. Big shout out to Bjergsen, the new coach of um, of the league team for TSM. He, I saw him the other day. He was here filming something, but I didn't have a chance to talk to him. Big shout out to Bjergsen. Make sure to um, definitely follow him on Twitter. Um, uh, so big shout out again to Bjergsen. Very nice guy. He is currently the coach. He retired from competitive play, um, but he is coaching TSM in league now. Let's take... Let's go here. It's great to actually see a lot, a lot of league, a lot of league guys are, are into chess, which is fantastic. Like, I remember when when the original. Let me finish this, finish this game off in style. I remember when um when the original Pog Champs boom happened. Two of the earliest people who were into chess were Box Box and um and Boy Boy. Now now of course I mean they're not at that level, but both of them were big big on chess. Um and more recently, uh, I noticed that Perks, of course, he's on Cloud Nine, obviously not on TSM, but. Perks, the, the legend himself, also has been playing some chess on stream as well. So I've seen a lot of interest in chess from the league guys. So it's been amazing to see. Okay, now here the reason this endgame is winning is because I have two pawns and a rook, and I'm just going to slowly march the pawns of the board. That's a good check. What's, what's tours on, you guys? Okay, let's go check. Go check, and now the thing is, I just use the rook and the two pawns. And I just one by one. I what I do is, you see, I want to push this pawn up the board. But what I do is, I can't use the pawn, the rook alone. So this pawn supports the supports the pawn. Now I move the rook up one. The pawns are connected. Now I push the pawn. I come back. Now he's trying to win the pawn. Now this pawn supports again, and I just keep using the the, the zigzag with the pawn supporting the pawn, and then push the rook pawn and pawns up the whole board for the rest of the way. 